hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is Sonia so today I'm going to show you this makeup look and I'm also going to review this foundation by L'Oreal this is the latest one fresh wear for 24 hour full coverage breathable skin and let's see how this work if you like to see this video without any further ado let's get into the video and breathable buildable full coverage up to 24 hours let's see how this works correcting or anything i'm not using any base just using my uh, face cream nivea prep your skin with the moisturizer any face cream they said this is a full coverage foundation so i wanna check this without any primer or any color corrector i'm just taking right now one two this is not cream this is runny two dot dot everywhere because this is so runny so i don't wanna waste you can see i have a dark circle and dark pigmentations here let's see if they cover wow using a beauty blender to blend okay blending so nicely not sticky at all most of the foundation is sticky I don't like sticky foundations this not sticky this is the first coat right now and a covering most of everything you can see very lightweight not heavy like I'm not feeling I have any foundation on my skin very light now I'm going to try my concealer on a top let's see the concealer blend on a top nicely or not yes concealer is blending nicely on that and foundation on a place not giving any hard time to blend i'm going to use contour stick in this side let's see yes i try the concealer and my contour stick they are very good blending so nicely on this foundation i'm trying this side concealer and my contour stick Now I'm going to use this Laura Mercy. This is a loose powder, so I'm going to bake my concealer. Wherever you apply your concealer, bake right now before it crease. And I'm going to use this is a Hula Bronzer by Benefit. on my cheeks from ear to chin close to hairline Now I'm going to use this Anastasia Dip Pro Gel.
like this now i'm going to make this side now i'm using a liquid concealer on a flat brush to highlight my eyebrows For eye makeup, I'm using this by Revolution London and I'm going to use this Jaclyn Hill. First, I'm starting with this shade. I'm placing on my eyebrow bone to highlight. Now I'm using this type of brush and taking the pink shade starting from my outer corner from V and going on my crease like this and going inner corner like this try to draw your lid now we have to follow this line like blend on a crease like this follow that line we created blend on a crease slowly go in the middle then go in the inner corner slowly slowly build this color blend go out yeah, like you are creating a bang with eyeliner the same way you can go out blend and go on a crease and blend you can see i didn't apply anything on my lid yet i'm just building a shade only on my crease from outer corner to inner corner that's the same shade using on a lower lashes like this now i'm using a dark shade this one in my outer corner first in a v here like this this is little darker than this and go on a crease and go in and the same shade I'm using on my lower lashes now from the Jaclyn Hill palette this shade little by little same way place in outer corner first like this and go on a crease on the lower lashes as well little shade on the back create a nice clean edge and blend now I'm using this dark shade on the top in the outer corner in a V and go on a crease Now I'm using liquid concealer on a flat brush. This is flat and thin. And going to clean my lid from front from here to here this, this much.
it now I'm using this light shade I took on my finger and placing look this is pink and gold now I'm going back with the dark shade and blending on a top in a bead using this gold from Jacqueline Hill placing on my inner corner here and on the front on a lower lid now I'm using a black shade on my lower lashes here we go you can see the difference I used the black here and this side just a light shades this look like this in a waterline I'm going to use a nude shade Now I'm going to use this eyeliner by L'Oreal. Like this, now I'm using a mascara by Maybelline. Now I'm going to apply lashes. Now I'm using a blush from Jacqueline hill palette because this is new I want to try all that color I'm using my highlighter from Jacqueline hill palette on my lip little bit on a chin and a little bit on eyebrows now I'm going to use this uh, Maybelline Superstay shade 130 Now this is the final result you can see. So so far this foundation is so good. I'm not feeling I'm wearing any foundation. This is very light and um, not feel any sticky or anything heavy nothing so this is very light now i'm going to test uh, then i will tell you how this is going so far this is so good and this coverage is also so good and i'm feeling my skin is breathing and um, yeah because they said this is fresh wear and breathable and yes i'm feeling i didn't wear anything on my skin very light so we'll tell you what happened next uh, we'll give you the wear test in another few hours so far so good i'm happy 
uh, I got this $22 guys mm. this is a little bit expensive than my Maybelline the Maybelline I got just $13 so this one around $20 to $25 okay guys now almost five hours it still looks good okay now you can see guys it's almost nine hours and i dried in the heat i touch my face so many times and you can see still is going so good so good so far you can see so far so good nine hours minus 20 degree and i went outside for shopping i did everything and still looks good coverage you can see on my face i didn't color correct or anything if you color correct if you use a second code it will cover a lot i just use one code and i didn't color correct anything that's why if you can see some marks so far it hide everything in one coat without any color corrected I'm going to sleep so I can't wear it tonight but their results so far so good thank you so much for watching this video guys hope you like this video and uh, hope you like this I look today I create and thank you so much if you like this video like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel we'll see you in the next video bye